The first thing I want to do in my scratch game is get this shark moving across the screen. And I'd like everything to start when I click the little green flag. We've got different categories of programming blocks here, and I'm going to use the control category. When the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, I want my shark to move. So I'm now going to use a motion block. So I select the motion category, and let's say move 10 steps. To run the game, I simply click this green flag, and he moved 10 steps. I'm going to put a sequence of these blocks in to make him move 50 steps. So there we go, let's see what happens this time. He's moved 50 steps. I could have just changed this number 10 to 50 and done it with one blue block. But the reason I've done it like this is because I'd like a little pause in between those moves. In the control block category, I have a weight block. So I'm going to pop one of these in between each pair of move blocks and I'm going to wait for a tenth of a second. Just a very, very short pause between each movement. I just want to slow him down a little bit. OK, let's see what happens this time. Click the green flag, and it's a little bit smoother. What we have here is called a sequence of instructions. But notice I'm repeating the same two instructions over and over again. There's a more efficient way of doing this. Let's get rid of most of these blocks. I'm going to use a looping block. Let's try this one. I'll pull those two commands into the repeat block here, and that will make these instructions repeat ten times. Let's see. Off he goes. Pull him back a little bit. If we want to repeat this 50 times, all I need to do is change this number. Try again. Off he goes. And he's gone right off the screen. Let's try another block to make him bounce when he hits the side of the screen. We have a motion block here where we say, if on edge, bounce. So I'm going to pop that into the loop as well. So he will move 10 steps, wait for a short amount of time, and then ask the question, are we on the edge? If we are, we bounce. If not, we don't. And we're going to repeat this sequence of three commands 50 times. Let's see what happens now. Off he goes, hits the wall, and he bounces. If your shark turns upside down when he bounces, there's a little button here which we can use to prevent that from happening. Just a little click on there will do the job. What I'd really like to do now is make this carry on effectively forever. So I'm going to change this repeat block for a slightly different one. Repeat forever. That's what this one will do. Get rid of that. Pop these three commands into there. And now let's see what happens. Off he goes, and this will continue until I hit the stop button. So we've seen how to get our shark moving. The next thing we'll work on is getting him to follow the mouse pointer 